cane sugar. See, that's why I didn't go. Happy Monday. Y'all, today is so beautiful outside. I was in the house. I really just woke up for real. Let me be let me be honest. I really just woke up, washed my face, did my skincare, and Rob wanted to run to the store. So I said, okay, let me just ride with you. And of course he took me to get a little munch mm -hmm. He's getting a couple things from the grocery store. Hope y'all are having a great day. If you're not, don't let a bad moment turn into a bad day. Don't confuse the two. You're having a bad moment, not a bad day, okay? In Jesus' name. Go ahead and rebuke all that. Have a great day, baby. But Y'all, I just wanted to get on here and just share like my gratitude. I'm so grateful for what God is doing in our lives right now. And like, you know how you have good news, but you know that you can't just share it right now. I cannot share it with y'all. I have been sitting on this news for months <laughs> and I just can't wait to share it with y'all. But I know the time will be right when we do it. So I'm not worried about that, okay? But I really want everyone to have a beautiful day. Get you some sun, get out just just release whatever is bothering you do your best to and like this is a segue into another thought that i was having like when y'all get on the internet be careful and be mindful of what you don't see okay people are out here battling and 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 are really troubled behind closed doors so when you get on these platforms be mindful of what you say because they have an impact on others um I am mindful of what I say, how I say it, how the message is delivered, because I know I don't want to come across a certain way. But at the same time, like sharing your testimony should be just that you share your testimony. You shouldn't be passing judgment. You shouldn't be, you know, becoming condescending when you're trying to help someone. Just be kind. If you get on this app, be kind. Don't come on here with this mess. People have enough to deal with. And if you're not helping them, or trying to help them or being a positive light just keep it to yourself there's enough negativity going on in the world today Take Rambo in for a procedure and I am I'm not well. We won't see him again until Wednesday. It's Monday evening, so I'm about to be a mess, y'all. Y'all Rob just sent me back to the car. <laughs> Tell me I had to come wait. I had to come wait in the truck because I just started crying. And it wasn't because of Rambo. It was like they have a sign up there that you know when people are unfortunately they have to put their pets down. They have the they have this little lamp that they turn on to let you know, just to you know, give them a little bit more respect. Man, I lost it when I read that sign, y'all, and I just kept looking at Rambo and I started crying. He he just unlocked the truck. He's only cooking the truck. <laughs> y'all don't play about my baby, like Rob. He like I tried. And to be fair, I tried. Rob was not having y'all. He said go to the truck. Yeah, I tried. I did not play about Rambo. Like growing up, I never understood like the the people who would just trip out trip out about their their pets and their animals. Like oh my gosh, like I would never. It's just a dog. I don't even call Rambo a dog. Okay, it's Rambo or one of his seventeen other nicknames. Okay, don't come for me about my baby. Y'all really want to make me mad. You really want to make me mad. You know, those people. How could I am those people now? 
I am those people. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he said, hey, he said, Rob said, stop looking at the sun. <laughs> going in for like a regular procedure y'all i just don't even want my baby in here like no and we don't even get to get him until wednesday between 10 or 12 weeks i want to say 12 weeks when we when we actually got him rob stayed home with him for like two or three weeks just to bond with him like he took off work and then we were at home uh like a week later because of covid so we've been with rambo the entire time like rambo is a part of our family you're talking about rambo i will i will i will put my whole foot in your chest <laughs> behind rambo <laughs> i will put my entire foot in your chest okay oh man let me call my mother because i am i am in here losing it don't laugh at me y'all this is real life y'all i forgot I had luggage to open. I completely forgot that I need to do this. So let's open these real fast. I completely forgot I had these, man. Mm. Y'all, I am all over the place. So let's, this, this, this may be raw. Let's see. So it comes with a dust cover. We replaced the entire set with this cream and I gave you my old set to my goddaughter. So I believe this is the salt white and I love this color y'all. Piece number three, this makes his full set. So he's gonna just add this one to his collection for or to his set already with. This is nice. Go ahead and slide this on here. Oh y'all. Good afternoon. Um today's Tuesday. I'm just waking up. I just brushed my teeth, put my braces in, wash my face, the basics. I threw on one of Rob's shirts. Well he gave me the shirt when we were dating. So I just, I've, I've always kept it. This is one of my like cleaning shirts because I'm about to get up and um, I'm going to clean this office out. Yesterday I was a mess, y'all. Like I was no good. I ate my little pulled pork sandwich and I was just emotionally distraught, y'all. I was so sad about my baby, but um you know, I thought I was going to actually have a really calm night at work. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I get to rest and kind of relax my mind. One of the busiest nights I've had in months, which is fine. I'm not complaining. I'm super grateful for what I do. I'm super grateful for, to be able to do what I do and we're in this position. So I never complain when I actually have to work um, because it's not often. So um, I'm just really getting my day started. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and clean this office. So... Let's go. I put on this little, my cleaning shirt. So that means we gonna clean up. So I think I need a little pick me up though. And yes, I'm gonna get a matcha, duh. cleaning up this office and y'all look at this look at rob and look at me y'all look at my beret like if you were prior military you already know what time it is yo my joint was trash had that joint set like a top hat that is crazy oh my gosh like the memories that is too funny y'all look at us mm -mm -mm. Alright y'all, so it is 12-11 in the morning, Saturday. So I was able to record some content, 
get it posted and I'm about to shower and get in the bed. I thought I was gonna be able to take a bubble bath, but I'm not. I haven't even picked y'all up for real. Last time we spoke, Rambo was getting dropped off and I was having an entire meltdown. So Rambo is back at home. Um, I just wanted to give y'all a proper update. He is at home, he's doing well. He's frolicking around the house like he didn't have surgery, but um, he's good. So I'm happy that he's home and I feel productive. I feel accomplished because I was able to get this this uh this new video by the time y'all are watching this it'll already be out so i'm really proud of myself you know uh youtube it takes some time you know you have to dedicate time to it and i'm just proud of myself for doing that you know so but i'm about to get in the shower and get some rest because i am tired so i'll pick y'all back up in the morning because Rob and I are doing some more cleaning, some more organizing, and let me get my life together. I have a huge head. A huge head. <laughs> good night, good night y'all. Look at this. I got a package from WSC Candle Company. Y'all know how much I love them. I've talked about them before, but the owner actually just sent me a package. Like she sent me this beautiful message, told me thank you for featuring her company in one of my vlogs. But I actually genuinely love these wax melts. Like these smell so good. Day at the Spa, Pink Dragon Fruit, Sandalwood and Shea, Black Amber and Lavender. I haven't smelled this one before. Love Spell, this one smells really good, y'all. I like this one and smoke bourbon. I've been using this one. I already have it burning. It smells so good. Y'all make sure y'all head over to WSC Candle Company and tell them I sent you. Y'all hook Emily up. She is amazing, the sweetest person. Y'all go blow her up. It's been a very productive day, but a long one. This is my first time picking y'all up for real. I just showed y'all the candle wax. I'm so serious about Emily, y'all. Y'all go and support her. She is the best. But we went down to the NBA and um, got the titles to our vehicle. I don't know why that wasn't done, but we went down there and did that this morning. It was super simple. It took like all of 10 minutes for both vehicles. But um, we went to the mall and y'all, you know, I've been, I've been on the move for the last like few months. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna get myself something today. And I'm glad I did. Y'all look at my little shades. I got these, aren't they so cute? They're really cute. My shades are black and I actually, y'all, these are definitely like outside of my comfort zone, but I told y'all I'm redoing my wardrobe. Like I am just, I'm cleaning the house. I'm getting, I'm getting myself together. Y'all look at these, these, these are so not me, but I love them. Let me see, let me show y'all what they look like on what <laughs> baby can't tell me nothing when i try these on like these are so not me look at that y'all baby she's cute okay i love these but um i am going to start my bath <sighs> go eat dinner because rob keeps yelling upstairs he cooked y'all so i'm gonna go eat before this man come up here and <laughs> come find me um but i'm going to eat and it's a bubble bath type of night. I'm going to clean my bathroom, but I want to show y'all my shades. And I just hope y'all are having a great day. Um, today was, a, like I said, today was a long day. It was a productive day. So I hope the same for everyone else. Um, but I'm going to make sure I pick y'all up tomorrow because I want to talk to y'all tomorrow. Like, we got we got some catching up to do. I can go. Oh, and these are the other ones. See? So these were the, like the brown ones. What? Well, I can't wait for summer, baby. I'm summering like summer. I'm a summer like nobody's business this summer. I'm a summer, 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 summer. I'm a summering like nobody's business. I I love these. So yes, honey, those are my purchases. Let me go eat before Rob gets mad, y'all. Because if it's actually smoked. So we're back at home and I have a couple of packages to open. We are going to talk today. We need to go pick up a Target order and we got some drinks for the day. It's time. It's time for us to have this conversation. It's time for me to let y'all know. But um, I have another package from 
clubs and hers. Y'all, I love these little t-shirts and um, the crew necks. I love these. I will put the website in my description, but I love them, y'all. Wise Club, this is really cute. Cool Wise Club. And this is like a, a navy blue, so I love those t-shirts, y'all. My favorite facial wash, okay? Usually I order it from Nordstrom, but I order it I ordered it directly from the website this time. And I'm and I'm going to start doing that. But um look how nice this is. So pretty. They always do a beautiful job of wrapping it. Absolute favorite. I have yet to use anything from this line that I don't like. Since foaming wash. And then they gifted me with the hand treatment. So I'm gonna put this one in my nightstand. Tell me you 30 something without telling me you 30 something. I ordered a handheld vacuum cleaner. That's a five for uh, like pet hair and stuff. I keep a clean house y'all. So I, I was almost like kind of mad at myself. I was like, why didn't I have this before? This one got really good reviews. It's the Bissell, hold on, let me see. Bissell Hair Eraser Lithium. That's what it says on the box, so let me see. I'm gonna use this to date. I think it's battery operated, but you can still, I think you can still put it in. Oh yeah. The suction is good on that. Got the accessories. Yeah. Get into that today. Starting in the basement. What is oh okay? So this is the the attachment that goes on to it. I got really good reviews on this one. So put this one. About to get busy. I y'all, I'm I'm so excited to clean. Like, I love cleaning up. It's therapeutic. Helps me think too. Like I can't, I can't be in a dirty house. My house is gonna be clean. I can't even think straight. My house is clean for real. So I am gonna charge this up while I talk to y'all. I opened up all of my packages and I am about to prep to do some chores. But like I said, we need to chit chat or y'all a conversation. I'm let you know why it's been feeling a little chaotic. Okay, so. Rob and I have been cleaning and purging and sorting through our home in a really big way because, because we're moving to Germany. Mm -hmm. Rob and I are moving to Germany in less than 30 days. And we have spent the last few months really just getting ourselves in order and prepping for the move. Now, I know some of y'all are probably like, Chelsea, what are you talking about? Yes, we are moving to Germany. No, we are not in the military anymore. Bob got an amazing opportunity and he took it as he should have. Um, so before I get into this, let me, let me give you a little backstory. We went to Alaska in October on an Alaskan cruise and we had such a beautiful, time if you haven't watched that vlog go check it out we it was really peaceful really serene it was it was a spiritual reset when we went to glacier bay there was something so beautiful that happened and i told rob then that i felt god's presence there like there was no denying that that was a spiritual experience it was so untouched it was ancient it was just a reminder of how small we really are in this world um but how intricate everything is, it's its designed specifically. It's a masterpiece. Like it was just, it was, it was an amazing experience. And I urge y'all, like if y'all are thinking about a vacation, like go on an Alaskan cruise. And places that we've been, like I truly enjoyed that trip the most. Rob was so relaxed on that trip and I saw it. And so prior to us going to Alaska, something that I didn't even communicate with him, like I had been praying for Rob heavily. Um, he was really going through something that I could see internal that was going on, but it also wasn't my business. I was like, okay, that's something that he's sorting out with God and I have to allow him to do that on his own. 
um, as his wife and as, you know, his best friend. Like, obviously, I, like I said, I saw something there, but it was like, nah, God don't need my help. He got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let me mind my business. When he's ready to talk about it, he'll talk about it. So when we got back from Alaska, we took a couple of days off and he went back to work. The first day he went back to work, he came home and he said, Chelsea, I can't do this. I'm done doing this. And y'all, my heart was so overwhelmed with joy because I wanted him to get out of that environment for a very long time. Um, I don't really talk about Rob's job or what he does for work. I just tell people he's a secret squirrel because that's the best way I can describe what he does for work. So if you've been with me for a little while, you know that uh, last year I actually left my position to take the current one that I'm in now. It's actually been a year this month that I've been home. And not only have I been, you know, more at peace, I've been able to be more of a wife and more of a present member of our family. I just feel better. I felt like I was getting closer to God. Um, I just felt like a better person overall because I was able to get away from negativity, from the stress, work remotely. I, and this is not to impress you, but it's more to impress upon you that there are other ways to do this. There are, there are so many ways to make things happen, right? Because during that time, I was so stressed out. I was tired. I was angry. And, you know, I've had my career outside of Rob. Um, since I was 18, you know, I was in the army and then I went to school and started my own career. You know, I've always had that. So I wasn't necessarily like trying to just quit, which would have been fine too at home. That wasn't the problem. The problem was that I wasn't comfortable with that. And Rob knew that he knew that I wanted to still have my own money. Um, but he was like, baby, just come home. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, but it wasn't time. You know, that during that time, I did a lot of praying when I was going through it. And I thank God for that experience with my last position, because had I not been that stressed out, I wouldn't have sought out that relationship. I wouldn't have tried to answer some of the questions that I had, which required me to go seek him. I was talking to everybody else, but God, okay? So I'm at home with this new position, stress-free, making more money than I've ever made in my career with less work. When I tell y'all, you have to stop listening to people. You have to be able to be okay with tuning noise out and listening to God's voice. You need to understand when God's trying to talk to you or get your attention. That That's a whole nother assignment in itself is learning to catch the message. Okay? Because you got to be able to catch the message as well, let alone understand what it means you got to catch it first so i say all that for a reason right so prior to the alaska trip like i said i was praying for rob i had even had thoughts about moving and leaving the country i had no idea how i was gonna tell this man that i wanted to leave the country no idea and i didn't even know where we were going but i just felt it in my gut like oh i don't want to do this like i want something different and it wasn't so much about me so rob goes back to work and he says i don't want to do this anymore and i'm like you got to rob and i have worked extremely hard the last 10 years and we put ourselves in positions where we do have options um and we are recognizing that we are recognizing that in the season we don't have to work as hard so when he told me, you know, he was thinking about it, he was like, Chelsea, I'm done. He said, Chelsea, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I said, okay. I said, so what you thinking? He says, Germany. Hmm. Like Germany, Germany? <laughs> and have a, a clue as to what I was already thinking about behind closed doors. So I say, so I told him, I said, Rob, so I was like, are you serious? Because once you say this, and once we like actually make a decision on what we're doing, it's going to happen and it's going to happen fast. And he said, yeah, this is what I want. And I said, OK, October, we had the conversation. He got an offer before Thanksgiving. So from November up until now, we have been prepping and getting our minds right for this move to Europe. 
Y'all, when I tell you, I am so grateful to God for what's going on in our lives. Like, I was so overwhelmed uh, this week with joy and gratitude that I just took a walk and I just started crying. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting it back right now, but I was so just overwhelmed with gratitude. When we were cleaning out our closet in the office, I found this notebook it, everything is just full circle right now. I found a notebook writing about my 20s and like what I was going through during that time. I just started to write it down. Whatever I was going through, whatever my inner thoughts were, my healing process, I was on paper. I was able to express myself at 24 in a way that was beyond my years. And I read it, I read it the other day and I'm like, girl, baby, you got a, you got a whole book right here. How about my book? Read it. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you would read my book. But I read it and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I dated it. I was 24 and y'all, I, I'm so proud of myself. It was literally 10 years this month and I found that book and I, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of Robert because we have worked incredibly hard and it's so easy to get online and, and see everybody popping up with the quick fixes and the and the the pop out the box lifestyle. Let me tell you something. There is still honor and 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 blessings and hard work. They said faith without work is what is dead. If you are a believer and you're not putting your best foot forward and working hard towards your goals you got to stop talking to me because that is one thing that gets under my skin is when you allow doubt, you start complaining, and you don't truly believe that God has what he has for you. Because if you really believe that you will work harder, if you really believe that you would take care of yourself, this is a season of us. We have to stop playing as believers. There is no half step in. There is no, you know, oh, well, let me tell you something. If you are a believer and you're around somebody that's complaining, get away from them. I'm looking at these goals these prayers that are now crossed off my to-do list y'all I had no idea what I was doing at 24 I just knew I didn't want to be in the army anymore I need to look back and know exactly what I was feeling starting over from scratch and understanding what I've been able to build for myself because I just I just stood on business and I believed in what I was saying. And I knew God had more for me. Like you couldn't tell me that God didn't have a bigger plan for me. And if you truly believe that you have to put action towards that, you have these thoughts and these these dreams for a reason. And I don't I think it's so cringy when people get on here and they cry, y'all. But let me tell you something. I don't even care right now. I don't even care. I am so proud of us as a unit, as individuals. Y'all, these goals that I had on paper, I was crossing them off this week because I already accomplished them. A degree, making a certain amount of income before a certain age, little stuff you in this lifetime already did it. Spend your birthday in Europe, visiting exotic locations in France, Spain, and Greece. I will be in Europe for my birthday this year. I can hop on the train and go wherever I want in a matter of hours. Things that I used to pray for and the things that used to be goals are being crossed off my to-do list. Y'all better stop listening to people tell you what you can't have, tell you what you can experience in this life. If God has put it on your heart. If you've got the vision and if you put work towards it, nobody can take that away from you. Do the work. Do the work. You can't skip the work. Y'all cannot skip the work. And I had to learn that myself. That was my main issue. I just wanted to get to the good part. But the good part was that. That was the good part because I was building a different person. That person that wrote down those confessions and was, and was starting her healing process, that is not the same woman. And I'm so proud of her, but I'm so proud of this one. I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> y'all, that was the, y'all just stop allowing people to tell you what your life is supposed to look like. Life I can be, I want to be the best woman, the, of, the best version of myself that I can be. Impact the world in a positive way. Y'all do not. 
I cannot stress this enough. Do not allow people to tell you how you are supposed to live your life and what it's supposed to look like. From a teenager, nobody could tell me what to do. And I'm not saying he said I was rebellious and I wasn't listening. I was disrespecting my parents. But I didn't go to college outright from high school. That wasn't for me. I was like, that doesn't make sense for me to go in debt behind a degree program that I don't even want to be in. So I didn't do it. I went to the army, got out, got my education afterwards because in 2014, guess what? The degree program that I have now didn't even it was it didn't even exist. So I waited a couple of years and was like, oh, here goes cybersecurity. Cybersecurity was just coming out. That was just be- becoming a popular topic of discussion. It existed, but nobody was really talking about it being a degree program. I couldn't even do that in 2008. That's when I graduated high school. That wasn't even an option. Had I not joined the army, I wouldn't have met my husband. Y'all stop letting people tell you how to live your life when you know in your heart what is for you and what's not for you. And I'm so, I feel so blessed. I am blessed to be able to live a life where I can truly enjoy myself. I can truly do what I want to do. And y'all, we are about to move to Germany. We're about to pack this house up and we're about to move to Europe. So I wanted to come on here and let y'all know because one, that the next few vlogs are going to be different. I'm going to be packing. I'm going to show y'all as much as I can uh, without stressing myself out. Um, But I wanted to be transparent and I suffer from feeling like I'm oversharing versus just being transparent because you know and this is I'm being honest with y'all this is something that I deal with it's just like oh I don't want people all in my business or um I don't want to overshare and you don't tell people things you know too early let me tell you something I feel so compelled to share things with y'all because God has blessed me so much that I feel like other people just need to see good things sometimes and this you don't know how good news may bless somebody else you don't know how it may inspire someone else so who am I to sit on this good news and not share it with y'all I just feel like we have you know taken the you know move in silence yeah you handle your business accordingly I'm gonna sit here and convince me that somebody's bad wishes is more powerful than my God couldn't be able to take anything away from me that God already told me I can have just because you know about it no so I'm trying to find the balance I'm not I don't I'm not gonna sit here and give y'all every single detail no I don't think so but I am gonna share the good news so people need to hear good news people need to hear good things especially in this day and time like we need to have good things to celebrate and I feel like when you understand that more is out there, you search for it. I was 18 years old living in Korea, and there were things that I just couldn't unsee after that. My mind had already been forced to think about other things outside of what was normal to me. So I created a new norm by seeing new things. Be honest, and I wanted to tell y'all what's going on, okay? So we are happy, we are excited. Gotta finish packing. That's simply what it is. I've been cleaning, packing, cleaning, packing. We wake up and we clean, we pack. We wake up, we clean, pack. Like I am, I am tired. I didn't sleep last night. Hence the energy drink. I didn't sleep. Um, so if I look a little off, that's why. But I genuinely love y'all. I genuinely wanted to share good news with y'all. And I genuinely want us to do well. Just know that it's more than one way to do this thing. Whatever God has put on your heart, baby, go go consult with him and figure out a game plan. Don't let this life pass you by. My mother told me that when I was in sixth grade, I uh, <laughs> I was trying out for the band. I wanted to play the violin, but for whatever reason, I couldn't play the violin. So I ended up playing the flute. And I was like, oh, I really don't want to do this, mama. Like, I was complaining. I was like, I don't want to do this, blah, blah, blah. She said, Chelsea, don't you wake up and let life pass you by make sure you are enjoying it and you are taking advantage of it i was 11 do y'all understand how how much she pissed me off by telling me that i was what i was so angry she told me that but it was the truth do not wake up 
and have a laundry list of regrets. I'm not saying that I'm not telling y'all to go out here and wild out either. That don't do anything that's detrimental to your health and your well-being. But y'all go enjoy life. We are not meant to struggle. We are not meant to be in this box. Go live life. Go enjoy it. Figure out a game plan and go do it. I'm excited about the future and what God has for us because this is just a season of change and shift and every I feel like a lot of believers are just stepping into what God has for them because we just, it's time to wake up. It's time to stop settling for less. God, want you, God, he can't even give you what you want because you said, no, he's settling for less. Stop it. Stop. Do the work. Get off the old stuff and do some work and get it done. We're going to journey, y'all. I gotta go. I gotta get up and go do some laundry. I gotta. I gotta pack. I gotta do some stuff. I love y'all. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I know it's crazy. I'm still processing it too, and I'm grateful to God for it. And I'm grateful to God for y'all. Mm, love y'all.